Hello again. This is the church that I built for um, Rowan, and this has been like quite the chore. So just kind of fill you in what's been happening. 1.2.4 came out, obviously, and I got it running on my server. I decided I was going to put it on this computer and... HD patch, which I usually use, wasn't working right, so I ended up going with Magic Launcher, and I'm loading like REI's minimap, uh, Mod Loader, Optifine, which I think is still a little buggy, and uh, single player commands, and then the WECUI, which is the thing that lets you see the selection set, and it gives you like the little red wireframe outline of what you selected. Um, but anyway, I recorded building this from the ground up for the most part. However, the first part that I was recording, I was using a Java recorder because Fraps is dead. It, it just won't work with this new 1.2.4, and it's probably because of Magic Launcher. I think if I was running straight Minecraft, it would probably work okay, but for some reason... Now that I'm running Magic Launcher, it doesn't work. It says it's recording, and then it just doesn't record. It gives you, like, an empty file or whatever, and so I lost a ton of recording of work. But um, the first one, the, the Java recording that I did, was kind of a trial and error of the church anyhow. So you'll kind of see a form of a church. I'm going to try to play back all the stuff that I did catch. I have probably about an hour's worth of video. And I'm just going to like probably triple, double, quadruple, I don't know. I'll see what's a good speed to to play it back. And I don't even know if I can use all of it because like some of it, I'd build something and then I'd redo it and then I'd build something and I'd redo it. And it's kind of like, I don't even know if you want to see that. So this is another one of those things with the design process just took a long time. And I was kind of modeling it after the St. Peter's Church in New York. Um, it, it was kind of, uh, you know, it, to, to be to scale with a little guy, I think it would end up going out to like those trees out there in the jungle. Maybe not. I, it's just big. And so this is kind of like the most compact version that I could come up with without just absolutely dwarfing Rowan. It's like when I made the wall, people were commenting that, you know, that's a huge space that you have to fill up. But I'm like, not with some of the buildings I have in mind. Because, like, I knew this church was going to be big because I want this to be a large city with, you know, the potential to have a huge population. And then I was going to build, like, an arena in here, which is another huge build. Uh, I'll probably have, um, you know, some larger shops and things. But I'm hoping the arena is the only real big build but so I'll kind of give you a little quick tour here so I've got like little arch wing things right there that's pretty standard to like gothic churches and things like that I uh, use another brick steps for the um, the roof and the original like Ovo's rustic pack texture pack that I used to use uh, they turned all that nether brick into like log texture and I don't like that because it for one, I like I like the dark roof ability you get with the nether brick stuff, and then if you go into the nether, you have those like wooden structures, and they just look silly. So I changed it back to this kind of dark, like blackish um, brick type texture, I guess. And Jamesy Boy Minecraft did an edit of it, same kind of thing, uh, same you know change where this was logs. And so, anyway, I think it's better with this. So that's, you can probably see, I, some one of my links I got, it's just friedeffects.com slash friedeffects.zip. Friedeffects is uh, fright and then the letter FX, not, huh, I'm on my selection tool. Let's get rid of that. Hey, I said get rid of that. Okay. So we'll go inside. Here's the inside of the church. I think this turned out really well. Uh, it's basically three wide for the, the carpet 
three wide here, and then I originally had this bumped over one. You'll probably see a version of that. And I just wasn't getting the look that I wanted. And so I decided, well, I'll just put two double doors in and then this single like column right here. Oh, excuse me. So these I was thinking, um, you go to like Catholic churches and things and they have like the little holy water things there, I guess. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a member of a Catholic church, so I don't really know what's going on on all of them, but I think I've been in a couple, and so I kind of just guessed at some of this stuff. Um, I put like these two double arches. Originally, when I built it, this was much narrower. Uh, like I said, this is the carpet was only too wide. Uh, these uh, that, those columns right there were the outer walls originally, and so I bumped it out two more. Uh, it doesn't really make for good seating if you were to sit, you know, like right here at church. You'd just be like, uh, okay. So, yeah, those are the seats for the people that show up late, get to sit, I guess. It doesn't matter, you're just mostly listening anyway. But uh, the original church... I, I don't know if they had any good interior shots, so I'm not even sure how they dealt with that problem. But I'm, but I, I saw like a graphic of how it was made, with the arches and then the other arch, kind of thing down below. And uh, I added these little bump outs with the torches on them, just because this is just too flat. And I think it helps offset that. I added a chandelier, like every other beam. Uh, those are made with um, another another brick uh, fencing. And then the arches here are just a solid block with upside down stairs and then double solid block in the center. Uh, the window tried to get kind of a circle there. This little ledge back here it doesn't need to be there. I just figured it kind of made it less boring because there's otherwise this big flat field of stone i'd really love to put like statues and things up there i may build this out or maybe even continue to make this like a giant um landing area up there and put s some more additional seating or something Ooh, scary thunder um yeah so then up here we have the the altar it's got kind of the raised stairs of the nether brick there just to kind of match with that i think i have another texture like a wool or obsidian or something that might work better with that blocks so i may change that i tried building uh like a pipe organ back here i plan on if i can figure out a good way to do it i want it to like kind of fill this area and maybe even you know up here there could be something i'm not really sure what i'm going to do that might end up being something else but and then I made these like little pools on either side here I'm not sure if those are for like baptisms or what but um, I've got this little side bump outs so this is like kind of a smaller maybe like if they had like sermons for kids or something they'd sit on the floor and gather around there's another one over here but this one's got a little pool back behind it again I, I just kind of throw in random things if people have some good ideas of what I should put in there or you know more realistic what would happen uh, feel free to um, post a comment and let me know but so then you go inside these towers and these go up quite a ways and there's just kind of like viewing up there so I'm not gonna bother to show you that but it's just a staircase that goes up to the roof I may put like bell towers instead up there but uh, so here we've got these like little walkway balconies and then I've got what I assume would be like for maybe choirs on either side. thought that would be kind of neat. Uh, this part, come over here, this is slightly elevated. Uh, I may have to get rid of the chandelier or just raise it up or something because it looks a little too close to the, the railing there. But it gives you a pretty good view, and you can, like I said, you can walk all the way around more choir stuff there. I've got these sort of like half windows, and the stairs go down, open the doors, 
And the floor I just made the stone. Oops. The floor I made the stone brick. And then this is three wide, so you can put the little signs on either side. And then I've got the little carpet over here with another sign on that side, just because I think they look a lot better, like church pews with those little side parts. But so yeah, that's pretty much that's the church. Um, like I said, depending on the length of this video, I may try to tack on a uh, speed build, showing you at least part of the process. Uh, it's, like I said, it's pretty involved, but you, you can kind of see what I did here. There's just sort of similar to the foundation of the keep, where it's just the arches. And it's just a, a column, and then like three empty spaces, and then another column, and then three empty spaces and a column. And then in between the, um, you know, over here on these sides, it's just two instead of three and I just didn't want it to be like super wide I, th I thought it would be better if it wasn't super wide but and then the you know like the, the roof is just set down one from the outer ridges and stuff and I put another brick uh, fencing along the top to simulate like wrought iron and stuff like that so it, it was you know a detailed build but realistically if I knew what I was doing from the beginning I probably could make make this go a lot faster but since I was just trial and error through the whole thing which is usually how I do most of my big builds is just kind of build something see if I like it if I don't like it then I'll either scrap it completely or just try to move things around and world edit is a lifesaver if I was building this legit there's just no way I would have given up I would have been so frustrated but hopefully you guys like it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And um, yeah, that's it. So like I said, if there's enough space, I will put speed build at the end of this. But something tells me I'll probably make a second video that's just the speed build of the church. And it's probably going to be a mess. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.